in mangroves, swamps, and deep forests in Malaysia live some of the largest bats in the world. Flying foxes. Flying foxes feed on different parts of a tree. But one of their favorites is floral nectar. To get the nectar, the bats crawl over the flowers before pushing their faces deep into each one. This causes pollen to cover their bodies and faces. These pollen grains get transferred when the flying fox moves between trees. Through bat pollination, flowers develop into mature fruits that produce healthier seeds. Just by feeding, flying foxes help pollinate flowers, produce fruits, and even plant trees. Large seeds are often carried away, but when feeding on fruits with small seeds, flying foxes swallow the seeds whole. These seeds are then excreted elsewhere, sometimes while the bats are flying over open spaces. With the seeds far from the parent tree, they have a better chance of surviving and reforesting new areas. But despite being important, flying foxes are often killed In fact, the most serious threat to flying foxes is hunting and killing by humans. For fun, for food, and out of ignorance. Even though fruit bats may feed on fruits planted by humans, there are many ways around this issue. Killing is not the solution. Without bats, farmers might be forced to invest time, money, and labor in hand pollination, thus suffering even bigger losses. Local people say they no longer see flying foxes in many areas where these bats were once found. We need to understand that when our flying foxes disappear, our forests and fruits could disappear too. But if we stop killing them, hopefully one day we can see flying foxes fill the evening skies like they used to.